Hi, I'm Stephen Koch. I want to talk to you about meditation. Many people are interested in meditation and I think a lot of people have misconceptions of what meditation is. Some people think it's it's uh, all about religion or the occult and uh, that's not true. It's, it's not, meditation is not about the occult or any religion. Meditation is simply, uh, the way that I practice it, a focusing of attention on my breath, which some of the things I love about meditation are that the breath is always with us, you know, to our last breath, we are alive. So it's always there for us to tap into uh, when we realize we want to or decide we want to have an awareness about it. It's like, okay, I'm feeling a little uptight, a little stressed, want to relax. Okay, I'll just ah, simply take a deep breath and consciously breathe in and let it out something we're doing all the time unconsciously. So it's simply bringing awareness to our breath. And I do it generally for 20 minutes a day and there's great benefits that have been proven uh, to come from meditation. It's relaxing, it's a stress reliever, it helps people focus and have better attention um, if you suffer from high stress, you're overworked, you have ADD, you can't focus, you can't sit still, uh, you'd think it'd be the opposite, that you wouldn't want to meditate and that's the last thing you'd want to do and, and consciously, mentally, maybe yes. But once you do it and you get into that more relaxed state, there's longer term benefits outside of meditation, uh, outside of the 20 minutes. and the immediate after as well. So what I'll do is just go through the real basics here of meditation. Uh, I have a comfortable place to sit, comfortable clothing. I set aside uh, time, have a quiet place to do it. You know, I want to set myself up for a positive experience, set myself up for success with the meditation. So I have a timer so that I know when my time is up. Um, I simply have it set for 20 minutes, so I hit start. And it plays a nice song when the 20 minutes is up. But what I do is simply, you know, you don't, well, what, what I do and what seems to work real well for me is simply sitting in a chair with my back straight, my knees uh, at my sides, my hands on my knees like this, my ankles are crossed. This works for me, this is very comfortable. And I generally close my eyes and I focus my breathing on the end of my nose, in and out breaths, because I can feel it here. And I breathe through my nose, and I also generally try and utilize belly breathing versus lung breathing, so your diaphragm. But, you know, a lot of this, it will come or it won't. You don't need to get too hung up on the details. Uh, that I'm talking about. The main thing is just to get in a comfortable spot and have dedicated time, sit down and focus your attention on your breathing. And what happens inevitably um, for me even now, and I've been doing this for a while, is distractions and thoughts will come in to my mind. and. Basically, I call them movies or thoughts. And once I'm aware of them, I let them go and bring my attention back to my breathing. That, to me, is a lot of the process of 
meditation and that's what it's about is the awareness of the distraction bringing it back and for me oftentimes before I know it I'm in another thought distraction so once I'm aware of it I bring it back sometimes these go on for several minutes and I'm playing movies I'm thinking of past events this is the chaotic aspects of the mind we're always thinking so what the benefit of meditation is is to try and quiet the mind try and relax the mind to get more in the body so that we can be more connected to our body our physical being what we came into the world with the mind and all these thoughts developed and are continuing to develop as our body is but we came in with the body and then we continue to you know be barraged with with information and thoughts that doesn't necessarily serve us well having that in our minds um, so once I'm aware of the thoughts let them go come back back to the breath posture is another thing I'll mention it's good to have a straight back and straight spine this helps keep you awake you know you don't want to get too comfortable because you will probably fall asleep or nod off and that's not the point of meditation to take a nap because the mind is, doesn't necessarily rest as much or there's not there's proven to not be as much benefit um, through taking a nap versus meditation and this is called a practice a meditation practice because it is just that setting up a practice in a space and, and working at it and practicing and it's easy to think wow you know how can this ever work for me every time I close my eyes it's my head's full of thoughts that's just the nature of humans right now and for many of us who don't practice meditation um, but as you delve into this and work towards this and, and do it, you eventually start to settle down and it gets easier and your mind quiets and you relax and you can have a few breaths, nice connected relaxing breaths. And as you go on and do that more and more, it just increases and that's the benefit and there's more clarity there's more relaxation uh, in your life outside of this so let's let's meditate together a little bit if you want to try it So a couple of things I'd like to point out is when you have these thoughts and you realize you're having these thoughts and your mind has wandered away from your breath where you were trying to focus your attention, it's most helpful to simply let the thoughts go 
and come back gently without criticism back to your breath. It's not so helpful to get pissed off and say, God damn it, you know, I'm supposed to be meditating and I'm thinking and having these thoughts and, you know, these thoughts just gently let them go, come back. If you want to label the thoughts, that can be helpful. Oh, I was thinking about past events. I was fantasizing, whatever it may be. And sometimes, you know, I've had meditations where the whole time I'm playing a movie in my head about something in the future that I'm planning or in the past that I've struggled with, uh, maybe with a parent or an ex-partner or a child. And that's okay. Just once I become aware, let it go, come back to the breath. And that is the practice, the returning, the attention, the realization that you're having these distractions, these thoughts coming back and focusing on the breath, on the in and out. I feel it right on the end of my nose. And I'll go through my body and I'll think, okay, I'm seated. Okay, belly breathing. Sometimes you have pain that comes up in the body. Sitting isn't so natural for some of us sitting still. And you'll feel pain, especially if you meditate for longer, like day-long meditation retreats. And you can just acknowledge that pain. And like the thoughts, let it go and come back to the breath. Yes, it's there. Yes, the thoughts are there. But you acknowledge it okay, I'm having pain in my knee or something, and you come back to the breath. And a lot of this is just doing it gently, being gentle with yourself. Um, so important to, to try and do that, because I know oftentimes I'm not very gentle with myself. And, and, and usually after the fact, I, I ask myself, well, boy, did that serve me well? And the answer is normally no, it sure didn't. So ideally we get to a point where I ask myself, will this serve me well moving forward and then can make an appropriate, take appropriate action after thinking about it versus just reacting. it for now. I'm going to finish my meditation and let me know how your meditation goes. Hope you have a wonderful day.